Hey what's up guys my name is Swapni Swasto and welcome back to YouTube channel So guys in today's video we will see how to install and run the Android Studio on a smartphone So Android Studio is a very popular Android development tool or software which is called IDE which is integrated development environment So basically it will provide an environment to create any kind of the Android operating system using the Kotlin or Java So for in today's video I'm going to run it on a smartphone using the Termax app First of all I will install the Ubuntu operating system inside the Termax app and later on I'm going to install the Android Studio inside it okay so if you have the kali linux or any other linux is to install in your termax app so you can just follow along with that or even if you don't have anything you just have to follow from the start from this video so first of all if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any kind of this video okay so let's start the video without wasting any more time So once you open Termax app, it will take some time to load up. Just wait here and type here a command pkg update. Okay, and hit enter. So it will ask for you uh, y n n. So just type here y and hit enter every time. And later on, we are going to install the latest packages for the Termax app. So for that, you have to run a command pkg upgrade. So just wait here and let this process complete. Now type here command pkg upgrade. Once this upgrade command will complete, you have to install the Ubuntu operating system. For that, you have to go to the description. You will find this command. You can just copy it from there. Even you will find it in the comment section, or you can pause the screen and type it here. So I'm going to paste it here, and I will hit enter. So what it will do? It will install the Ubuntu operating system on the Termax app. It's going to take a lot of time. So just wait here and let it complete. It will take around one hour to complete. So it will ask you for the languages. Just select the English language, and it will ask for the a uh, keyboard layout just select the appropriate keyboard layout according to your country now it will ask for the password for ubuntu so just give me any password i will give you a password ubuntu you can give any password no issue now it will ask for the password for the vnc server so you can give any password i will give you a password youtube you can give any password for vnc server once it will be done you have to open the vnc server app and connect through it Okay, you can see it's installing and completing all this step. It will take a lot of time. Now, what you have to do, you have to simply type here command Ubuntu. So it will start the Ubuntu terminal. So you can see we are in the Ubuntu terminal. Now you have to type here command vnc start. It will start a vnc server. Now what you have to do, you have to go to the home screen and you have to open the vnc server app. Click on plus. Give your address local host colon one. And give the name of the computer. You can give any name. I will give here Ubuntu OS. Click on done and give the password that you given earlier. I will give here YouTube. Okay. So next thing you have to do, you have to open the Firefox. It will fix the color issue. Now the color is fixed. Open the terminal app and run this command, which is apt space update. It will update the Ubuntu operating system. And after that, what you have to do, you have to install the JDK, which is Java Development Kit. So JDK is need to be pre-installed before installing the Android Studio. So for that, what you have to do, you have to type here a command: sudo space apt space install space default hyphen JDK. Okay, so it will install the Java Development Kit. And when you run this command, it will ask for the super user password, and the super user password is the Ubuntu. So let this process complete. It will download and install the JDK. It will take some time. After that, you have to open the Firefox and search on the Google for Android Studio download link. Just open it. This is the official link. What you have to do? You have to install the Android Studio Flamingo. So you can see in the green color, you will find a download link. Click on it and just open the cursor and just slide down. You have to accept this terms and condition before downloading it. Now click on I have read and agree with the above terms and condition. Now click on the download Android Studio Flamingo. <clears throat> so it will take some time because the size of the file is around 1 GB. But I had already downloaded it. I'm not going to download it again. But for you, you have to download it first time. Okay. So once the download will complete, what you have to do? You have to open a terminal app and here type ls and c and go to the cd downloads. Just go to download folder. Okay now what you have to do you have to move the android studio downloaded file to the opt folder just type this command 
which is mb and android studio and the name of the file and after that space hi uh, forward slash opt so just type this command given on the screen now what you have to do you have to move to the opt uh, directory so for that the type a cd opt now next thing you have to do you have to just uh, extract this android studio file for that just type this command which is tar space hyphen xf space and give the name of the file which is android studio so the uh, the command is given on the screen just wait here and type it there so it will take some time to uh, extract the file and just make sure that as i downloaded the 2022 version for that you might be the find a version which is different so for that now you have to type here cd android studio bin so you will move to the uh, bin folder of the android studio now you have to create a shortcut for the android studio just type this command which is echo space bash so just pause the screen and type this command it will take some time and one thing you have to make sure that for uh, you you might password that you download a different version of the android studio so while writing the command make sure that you given the correct version like uh, in the earlier command i given the android studio hyphen 2022 so for you it might be a different now you have to give the execute permission to the created as a shortcut for that just type this command chmod space plus x and just give the given directory now you have to run the com uh, android studio by typing this command which is android studio so from anywhere in the terminal you can type android studio and it will launch in android studio so you can see it's opening up now just click on don't send it will take some time to click on the next click on the next click on the next it will firstly download and install the jdk so for that just go to the uh, plugins you can see different plugins for the flutter also you have and different uh, customization like uh, different themes and you can click on new project it will open for the stk manager here you will have to find that there is no stk manager pre install so for that what you have to do you have to go to the edit and just click on this and click on the next so what it will do it will search for locally and it will not find the locally then it will ask for you to download it just click on accept and click on the download so just wait here and let it download once it will done you can easily create a new android studio project and under this you can just create any type of android app uh, using the kotlin or java so if you're a developer or a programmer you can just use this method to run the android studio on a smartphone and have a full uh, flash operating system running on a smartphone so you can do your coding and run your project on a smartphone from anywhere anytime okay now close this and just exit exit and type exit and exit so it will close the termx app so i hope you find this video useful and if you face any kind of difficulties while following this video just go to description to find my instagram profile link just go and follow me there and message me i will try to help as much as i can so today's video is a little bit fast because i don't want to waste your time so if you face any kind of difficulties while writing the command you can do one thing you just pause the screen and just type the command from there so there will be no problem because i already given the command on the screen so you can just pause the screen and type it from there okay so i hope you guys find this video useful and if you face any kind of difficulties as i told you earlier just go to description and find my instagram profile link just go and follow me and message me there so thanks for watching this video have a good day good luck and bye take care